Participatory action research is a really exciting way of working with communities. In participatory action research, you, the researcher, take less of a lead in the project. You might say, oh, but I'm supposed to be in charge of the project. Nope, not in participatory action research. In participatory action research, or PAR as it's usually called, the people you're working with take the lead. You might serve as a catalyst, or you might be invited to join in with another project, or you might come to a group and say, hey, I want to do some participatory action research with you. Are you open to doing that? But the point is that the people who are engaged in the research participate, right? They're not the community being studied. They're an active part of the development of the research process. And the collecting the data, the analyzing of the data, and the using of the data. At the same time, there is action entailed, right? You don't just learn things and write them down and write a report and be done. You do something on the basis of the action research, right? So you identify an intervention that can be made, you carry it out, and then you report back on it, right? Participatory action research involves cyclical relationships between researcher and communities who are participating in the research. It also requires a lot of connection building between communities and researcher. It's a tremendously exciting way to work, but it has a lot more questions and challenges at the heart of it than more traditional research styles might do. In this section, we're going to learn a little bit about what different styles of participatory action research are like and get some ideas about how a participatory action research, research project can be incorporated into the field of political science.